Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about Arduinos and which one is right for you. I have a selection of Arduinos here, but they're not comprehensive. There's more Arduinos than this. These are just the ones I happen to have on hand. I have multiples of these guys, these guys, these guys. I only have one of these. But uh, yeah, I'll give you a little breakdown on which ones you should buy. So if you're a complete beginner, I would say like you're just wanting to get an Arduino to, to test out stuff to see if you'll like it, definitely this guy you should get. This is the Arduino Uno, and I believe it is by far the most used Arduino. So it's very simple. It has a whole bunch of digital pins, um, enough to do nearly any project, um, any at least beginnery project. It has a few analog pins, six of them here, and I find this suits my need sort of like 99% of the time. And a lot of the example sketches will run extremely well on this form factor Arduino. It's also the one that has the most uh, hats, I think, the little boards that interconnect on top. I think the Uno is the default for anybody wanting to do Arduino stuff. If you need more pins than the Uno, I think the next most popular will be the Arduino Mega, which is this guy here. It's quite a bit more expensive, but it has like like triple or quadruple the amount of pins available to it, has much more processing power, and uh, it is absolutely a, a beast. So this guy here, if you need more pins than that. If you're starting off, it's this guy. If you have a project that has a lot of uh, input-output, you need this guy. Me, on the other hand, I like the Arduino Uno, and I also find that I'm usually only using a couple pins, maybe uh, uh, half a dozen pins at max, sometimes even less, and I like just uh, cheap Arduinos. This guy here, uh, these are all, actually, these are none of these are official Arduino prod products, by the way. Um, Arduino is an open source design on an Atmel chip, and so it's okay if you go buy a clone from eBay, which we'll talk about a little bit later. These all are clones. So I like only using a few pins and then going really cheap and having just a tiny little thing. I don't like to have pins that I don't use. So I'll go on this end of the spectrum here. This here is an Arduino Pro Mini. And these two are, they were originally designed as Kickstarter products by Digistump, but these are DigiSparks. So these guys are under two bucks a pop. This guy is just over two bucks. This guy I think is around five bucks and this guy is around 15 bucks. So if you only need like four pins, let's just say you're just trying to flash an LED on or off or whatever, these guys are worth a look because you connect directly to USB just like the, um, the Uno. You need to install some slightly different drivers to get them to work, but they plug in just to your computer and you can use these couple pins. You can actually use all six pins if you, if you know what you're doing, um, and it's, it's not actually that difficult. You can use all six pins, but yeah, I recommend if you're gonna permanentize a lot of your designs and they only use a few pins, I'd use these guys. This guy here, this guy is basically, this is a Pro Mini? Yeah, Pro Mini. This guy is a miniaturized Uno, has the same chip as the Uno, and the same amount of pins, but it doesn't have this whole USB section on it. So this guy is good to buy if you want to permanentize your designs, and you're a little bit more advanced, you're comfortable with programming it a different way. You need actually one of these guys, which is a USB to serial programmer, which you can also find on eBay, not very expensive. This was probably two bucks or less to program this guy, or you can even use an Arduino Uno. So for your first Arduino, I would say buy an Uno. And for if you find yourself using very few pins, get yourself some inexpensive options like these guys here the DigiSparks or the Pro Micro. There's also a Pro Mini, sorry, I keep getting confused. This is the Pro Mini. There's also a Pro Micro, which has the USB capability on it. It's a bit bigger, which is also a good, good idea to purchase. Now, 
if you are buying these cheap Chinese clones, this uh, USB to serial chip on top of here, and I think this guy has the same chip, is called a CH340. You may need to install CH340 drivers in order to get it to work. I actually prefer the CH340 over what Arduino uses, which is a, um, it's a FTDI chip, because there was some controversy where the um, FTDI would actually brick your, your chip if it was a counterfeit, and there were actually reports of people having uh, legitimate chips being bricked by the drivers. So I don't want to support that, so I use the CH340. But if you do want to support how awesome the Arduino community is, you should probably buy at least one legitimate Arduino. But yeah, this is just a quick rundown of what you should buy. I would say start with this guy, an Uno, and buy yourself a couple DigiSparks if you want to make your projects permanent and you want to keep your Uno for prototyping. And if you're looking into small things that need a lot of processing power, the Pro Mini or the Pro Micro are great examples, although they're a little bit harder to program since you need a programmer or you can use this as a programmer. And if you're going to bigger things, you need an Arduino Mega. And this guy, just for an example, a lot of people power their 3D printers off this guy here. There's a lot of processing power available here. Oh yeah, and one more thing to watch out for. These guys come in 16 megahertz and 8 megahertz. Um, I bought the 16 megahertz because I figured I'd want the extra speed. But looking back at the projects that I've actually done with these guys, I would say don't even bother. Save yourself some money and get the 8 megahertz because even though it runs at half the speed, honestly, most of the stuff you'll see on this channel and actually most of the stuff on any channel with Arduino are not even going to use the Arduino to their full capabilities. It's very rare that you're going to hit a, a, a potential limit in the Arduino. And if you are coming close to those limits, there are much better microcontrollers that you should switch to. And that'll be for another video. But in this Arduino basics video, my advice is get an Uno, get a couple DigiSparks. The Uno for prototyping, the DigiSparks for making permanent. I hope this helped you guys, and thanks for watching.